Welcome back, everybody. So, moving on to the large mask. This should fit most men. All right, let's get started with a slip knot. And we're going to chain eight. And then all you're going to do is single crochet back across seven. So starting in the only stitch you can get into. So you can just pull this, your uh, slip knot closed. You want to chain two, turn your work, and now we're just going to put double crochets in those same stitches all the way across. So seven double crochets. And don't forget to get into this weird guy at the end. Holy heck. Holy wow, that was difficult. Okay. Great, chain two. Turn your work. This is where we're going to start our um, <clears throat> increases. So we're going to do two double crochets in the first stitch and then two double crochets in the last stitch and then just regular double crochets in between and that's going to give us our increase. So two double crochets in the first stitch. So I'm going to put one in here. And because I already chained two, that gives me two stitches. So I don't have to put any more in there. So I'm just going to go across to the last hole. And I'm going to put two in here. And you're going to chain two. And we're going to do this for the next seven rows. So I got my, my row counter here. So I'll put one. I'll make sure this says eight on it when I'm done. So again, put one in here. And with your chain two, that makes two stitches. So we can go right on to the next stitch. And I'm going to put two in here. Oh, something, something went wrong there. So try to get it in that stitch. 
A lot of people will go into that this right here, and then you end up with a big hole on the side. But there is actually a stitch in there. It's just the one at the end is so difficult. I don't know why. So chain two. And two in this last one. Sorry, chain two and turn your work. And two in this last one. Chain two. And two in this last one. Chain two. The counter says six, so two more.
and chain two. So, one more row. We're on the last one. Oops. Chain two, and turn your work. So, as you can see, we are halfway there. So at this point, we're just gonna do regular stitches all the way across. All right, so our next few rows is just gonna be simply, oh, sorry, <laughs> there's already a stitch there. It's just going to be regular uh, um, double crochets, I almost said single. Regular double crochets all the way across. You don't need to worry about this hole, go into this hole. There's already a stitch taken up that hole. We are counting the two as a stitch, chain two. And chain two. Turn your work.
So as you can see, this is where we get this part from. Is that we come up. Come up. And then we started. It's not a decrease. But it looks like that because we're evening off. So that's where this comes from. And now we're going to start our decreases. So we're going to come back down the other side. So our decreases are pretty easy. Um, you're simply going to double crochet two stitches together, the two first ones and the two last ones. For every other row, if you're working ahead of me. So come in to the very first hole, right there. Like you're going to do a double crochet, but don't. Sorry. Come through the first two. And then don't do anything. Yarn over and go into the second hole. Come through two. And then come through all three. So I'll show you again once we get back down to the other side. And then just regular double crochets all the way back up or down. So I'm at my last two, so I yarned over, trying to get into that stitch. So I'm going to grab some yarn, I'm going to pull through two, like I'm doing a double crochet, but then I'm going to stop. I'm going to yarn over again, and I'm going to go into the second stitch, and I'm going to come through two, and then I'm going to come through three, and then chain two. So that's how we're going to do our decreases for the rest of the way. But the next row is just going to be one double crochet all the way across. Which means don't go into this first hole because it's got a stitch. So you're just doing double crochets all the way across and then your next row is going to be a decrease row and then the next row is going to be a regular row and so on and so forth so that's how we're doing this Chain two. There's a decrease. So yarn over, go into this first hole, grab some yarn, come through two and stop. Yarn over, go through the second stitch, come through two, come through three. And then regular double crochets all the way over to the other side to the last two stitches So we're going to do the last two together. Chain two. Turn your work. Chain two. 
Oh, not in that hole. <clears throat> it's gonna be just a regular double crochet row. Chain two. Almost done. Chain two. So if you're working ahead of me, we started with seven across. So we chained eight and we had seven stitches across. We stop our decreases when we have seven stitches across, which is right here. All right. So we've got what we need left to finish the other side of the mask. So I'm going to double crochet and seven chain two no chain one sorry here because we have to do single crochet so we're just doing the opposite of what we did when we started so now we're just going to do two three four five six seven single crochets in every stitch and don't fasten off you've seen my other videos you know we don't fasten off we're gonna chain 20 There's 20. So turn your work and you're going to come back down into that last stitch and you're going to do a slip stitch. And then you're going to start single crocheting all around the whole end till you get down to here. So just anywhere you can get your needle into. This just gives it a nice edge. Now instead of going into the big holes, I'm actually trying to make a stitch. Under two pieces of yarn. Sometimes I'm lucky enough, sometimes I get one piece of yarn. And that's fine. The next stitch will pull that down anyway. But I don't want to stretch out those bigger holes, so I am not going to go into those. Now, as per the disclaimer at the beginning of the video, this will not stop you from getting coronavirus. It will only 
stop you from spreading coronavirus. So we're back up to this edge. I'm going to put two in the same hole and then I'm going to chain 20. And then I'm going to come right over here and I'm going to go right into this end stitch and I'm going to do a slip stitch and pull that tight and then I'm just going to continue my single crochets back up to where I started and then fasten off. So like I've stated in my other videos, these masks are great for cleaning with bleach, um, for pregnant women that want to maybe clean out some kitty litter without having that smell permeating their nostrils, uh, for painting, um, for, well, me working in my, my wood shop, uh, a lot of, um, a lot of useful things you can use a dust mask for. It's not just for a coronavirus, and that's not why I'm making the video. Um, but why well, I guess it is one of the reasons why I'm making the video because everyone and their concerns about spreading it to others and continuously spreading it around. Um, you know, this this will this will stop at least the spread. But it won't stop you from getting it. It's, uh, it's not that sort of a virus. So um, I suggest even wearing the mask, you still cough into your elbow and, and stuff, just like the disclaimer says. But also, um, wear gloves. It's not just about wearing a mask, it's about gloves too. So I'm right back here where I started. So I'm just going to fasten off. And I'm just going to tuck this bad boy away. I'm just going to go right up these stitches.
So depending on how tight you were pulling your your yarn, it does cup. Um, I pulled, stretched mine out after. Um, but uh, there you have it. We've got your larges. Alright guys, time to make a little wee baby one. Because babies need masks too. So, I mean, you certainly don't want your baby getting sick, so, um, this won't stop, but it'll help because of the fibers in it and stuff like this, so, um, it, it'll help. You see all these adults walking around all the time and you never see kids wearing masks. I don't understand that. So for this one, we're using a 3.5 and this yarn calls for a 5.5 hook. So we're going down quite a bit, but this is, is tight. It is nice and tight. Like I have to really pull it apart to find my stitches. It's a nice tight mask. So we start with a slip knot as usual. So we're going to chain five. And you're going to single crochet four back across. So this is just your slip knot coming undone. You can just pull that closed. No big deal. So chain two. And now you're going to double crochet in those four stitches. And the last one, which is always so easy to get into. Chain two. And again, we're starting our increase right away. So you're going to put two, in, two double crochets in the first and two double crochets in the last. And then just normal stuff in between. So the same as the one we just did on this video. is you're only going to put one in there because of the chain two we're counting it as a stitch so there's our, there's two stitches in there right now so regular double crochets to get to the last stitch and then you're going to put two double crochets into that last stitch Chain two. So we're going to do this for four rows. Oh, I usually wear this on my finger, but reset. There we go. So one in this hole with the chain two makes it two stitches. So we're only doing this for four rows. Oh, I got stragglers. And two in this last stitch. Chain two.
That's true. All right, so we're going to do the next three rows are going to be just simply straight double crochets all the way across. So we're not going to go into this hole. It already has a chain two. We're going to go into this hole. Thank you. So, <clears throat> the next row is going to be start our decrease row. So we're going to double crochet two together. So we are going to go right into this chain two hole. So yarn over like you're going to do a double crochet. Go into the hole, grab some yarn, come up, go through two, and stop. Yarn over and go through the second stitch. Yarn over, come through two. Yarn over, and now you're coming through three. And that's how you do two together. So do regular crochet. All the way across to get to the next two. Or the last two. Double crochet those two together. Just like that. Chain two. So we have four stitches across. We're going to double crochet. Chain one, you're going to single crochet those four stitches. Now you're going to chain ten. Turn your work, go into that top stitch and do a slip stitch. Tiny, but I can do it. And now you're just going to single crochet just like we just did with the other one all the way around to this side. Wherever you can get your hook in. 
Just remember to hold tight. It doesn't have to be super tight, but it doesn't, we don't want it to be loose. Um, and doing this and pulling tight um, will give it that arch shape so it fits around your face better. Mine's, a, mine's starting to arch like that. You can stretch it out after. It's fine. It'll stretch out. So I'm going to put two up here near the corner. Then I'm going to chain ten. Then I'm going to come down. Do the same thing as I did last. Or over on the other side there. I'm going to slip stitch. And then I'm just going to continue on with my single crochets all across. Until you get back over to the other side, which shouldn't take long. It's a, it's a tiny little thing. So you can just fasten off once you get back up here. I'm going to put one stitch in here. And I'm going to fasten off. So I just put an extra stitch in there. So it's all like deformed right now, but you can just pull that out. It's very cuppy around, but you want it to cup around your face. That's what you want. No point wearing a mask if it's not cupping around your face. So, we're just going to hide our ends like we did with the other ones. I can come straight across here and make life easy. As long as you're weaving. And then we can hide this one. It's not so much hiding. I don't know why I keep saying that. It's more about um, securing than hiding. But that's what I say. Even though I know it's not true. There you go. And we have our child's mask and our grown-up mask. You want it to fit snug. Keep that in mind. For mask, you want them to fit snug. So, and now we have a little infant baby mask. So, thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you in the next video.